So today we are going to a strawberry farm that's about an hour, an hour and a half away from downtown Hiroshima where we live. And it was actually National Strawberry Day, which is January 15th, because Ichigo means one and five. So 15, but Ichigo also means strawberry. And we saw snow along the way, which I was super excited about. So the farm was for strawberries during the winter, but the rest of the year they have other things like blueberries, tomatoes, and grapes. And something that was interesting to me was they gave us Sweden condensed milk to dip our strawberries in, but that was actually really good. Side note, some of them just taste like candy. Like straight up. Candy. Obviously there are rules to which ones you could and couldn't pick, like if you can't pull it off easily or if you break it a funny way, you can't take it, and then it, of course if they're like green and they're young, you can't take them either. The other main rule was if it came in like a big old vine like this, you couldn't take anything off the vine. You had to pick the strawberry itself. Do not pick the vine. But we picked strawberries for, I believe, an hour, and I was definitely full on strawberries. <laughs> We're gonna go touch the snow. Yay! Snow. It looks really gross. My first snow touch of 2023. All good. Mr. Pickles is a celebrity. I'm so proud of him. Yay. Celebrity Pickle! And then on the way back home, we did stop at this like random kind of roadside stop and they had Totoro outside, which was what made me really happy. And then of course, because Kaya was looking for strawberry crepes, we stopped at 7-Eleven for a strawberry day. It's everywhere and it's heart shaped. It's so beautiful. And we came home and had yakiniku because it was Shione's last night at home before she went back to Tokyo so we had what she wanted for dinner and then we all tried like the little pudding cups, flan or what, I don't know what, if they're flan or not, but the little pudding cups that you flip over and flick the tab. So um, you, can, you can watch that now because it's really entertaining. で、ね。で、サバリーだけパパ。で。Oh, yes. <laughs> the noise. Good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I 
And then the next morning we did a little like self-make pancake bar and we also used strawberries that we ended up buying from the strawberry farm oh, yesterday. Oh, so it was super yeah. cool. <laughs> but today we're doing kimono. Also our American <laughs> Japanese lunch. Mm -hmm. うん。ねべ。ねべ。うん。上手。横の線がめっちゃ上手。そうだね。うん、すごい。あ、腹も抜かなか。おお、いいね。おお。いいね。うん。できた。And before we got, um, before we did our kimono picks, while Brian was still getting into his, we did calligraphy, and I wrote egal, which means smile, because that's the bracelet, that's what Miss Hobbs put on the bracelet for me that she made when I was gonna go to Japan. Egal! So this was my cup that I picked for the matcha ceremony and we got a moist cake beforehand <laughs> and a dry um, like sweet powdery thing to balance out the taste of the matcha because it's such an earthy taste. And the little powdery things was a crane or a sakura slash cherry blossom that you could pick from, but they had the same taste. And the lady actually kept her matcha sealed with gold on top because of, historically, if that gold seal was broken, it showed that somebody tried to poison you during the matcha making. So both Haru... Kayano and then Brian and I all made matcha and there's a lot of like specific things that go into it especially in the ceremony so like you have to fold your towel a certain way which we got taught and the water has to be a specific temperature otherwise the matcha will taste different and it won't taste good and you have to aerate it enough with the specific whisk and things like that and let me note that this video was taken by Kayano, so it's gonna get goofy in a minute because she's gonna start randomly zooming in and out. But as you can tell, I kind of struggled a little bit with figuring out the whole matcha process process beforehand. But I did end up like doing the best with the aeration thing, and my host mom got to drink my matcha, and she said it was good. FYI, Brian is not supposed to wear the clip, it's for females, but Kayano put hers in Brian's hair and he modeled it for us and everything it looked great on him. And then here was the matcha that Kayano made for me, and that I got to drink. Mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>